to EasyGrade Pro um, from an Excel file. First thing you need to do is log into ORS, because ORS has an Excel file with students' names on them. Once you see your student's name, go to this link over here where it says export to spreadsheet and go ahead and get the Excel file. We're going to copy all the names and paste that into a new blank document. Okay, then you're going to save as. The saving part is a little different. You need to remember that you're going to save it as a comma separated value and that's what you'll need to type in later to EasyGrade Pro. Okay. And so I have my students names. I don't need to save it again. I just saved it. I can exit out of here and also log out of ORS. Okay. Then go ahead and log into EasyGrade Pro and every year um, you'll be creating um, a new grade workbook unless you going to overwrite your last year's file. So I'm going to click Save. I'm going to ahead and replace that. And now I'm going to add my classes. So I have Math Period 1, and I can tell it that I'm going to do all three terms right now, so I don't have to do that later on. So, and then I'm going to also put Science Period 1. Once again, all three terms. Next class, and I can do math period two, all three terms. And science period two, all three terms. So you can do all your classes right now for the entire year. Okay? And then I'm going to click Done. Now I'm ready to import my students. So I'm going to go File, Import, and I'm going to use the Easy Import of Students, and then click Next. I'm going to use um, Math Period 1, and I'm going to do it for Term 1. I don't usually put all the students in all three terms because my classes change, and I wait till I'm ready for the next term, and then I just copy my current students and I click OK. I find my period 1, comma separated values right there, and I go ahead and open it. Okay, Right here in the top of the format, comma separated values, CSV, so the computer knows um, that that's what I'm doing. And then I also need to tell the computer um, what these names are. So Right there, my first one is the student's last name, and Servando here is the student's first name. And I use that pull-down menu and select that. Then I hit Next. Most of the time, they'll be all highlighted. If not, click this little blue arrow button and highlight them. And then it says Import Selected Students. So all 34 of my students are um, imported, and I hit OK. Do I need to import? Um, Again, if you would like to import again, you can choose um, another class to import. You um, can choose a new class. Go ahead and select the term. So if I want to do um, science period one, I can do that. And I do the same thing again. Click open. Uh, I have to tell the computer it's a CSV. I have here the student's last name. And Servando is the student's first name. Now I can go and hit next and import them all. And all my students were imported.